My church family actually gave me the name Gifted Hands. God showed me that even though I don't have physical hands, when I rap, when I sing, when I speak to people, he gave me gifted hands to help people, inspire them to live and not just exist. To heal it takes time, plus the process ain't pretty, so the feeling ain't fun. Had to differentiate what's fake from real in my mind. When I was born, the doctors told my mother that I wouldn't make it past the age of three. The title that they put on the condition that they gave me when I was born was Cornelia Delane Syndrome. It said I was supposed to be blind, that I was supposed to be deaf, that I wasn't supposed to be able to speak. She always tells me that in her dream beforehand, she got a message from God telling her to name me Emmanuel, which means God with us. Hey little child who's lonely, your better days are not far. Sometimes life it gets ugly, and every day it feels hard. Around the age of 12 or 13, my older brother, he had wrote something on paper that he wanted me to rap and he made a beat. And from that moment is when I really fell in love just with music, just the ability to rhyme. It was because I was dealing with depression and I didn't know how to let it out in a good way. It clicked somehow that this thing that my older brother introduced me to, I could use as an outlet. He has one of my favorite songs. <laughs> Gifted Hands has one of my favorite songs. Gifted Hands, my man. I'm telling you now, I don't care if it's a race, I'ma set my own pace on my mind. Ready, set, go. My writing process is not complicated, but it's complicated. Like, I'll hear a beat, I pray, and ask God to give me a message that'll be powerful, purposeful, positive, and timeless. I know that, you know, the songs that I write isn't for everyone, but I do know that the people who are drawn to my music, they're gonna get something from it. Now, I've also had a lot of people in my comments saying, hey man, this is the type of music that we need. There's enough negativity going around, but there isn't enough music that actually uplifts us and that really encourages us to keep moving forward. Years and years and years, it took a long time for me to be comfortable with me. It took a long time for me to be comfortable in my skin and understand that my normal is normal. This is like a dream for me because I work hard for this. It's just such a beautiful thing because I get to tell at least one person in the crowd that you're not alone when they hear my song. I think it's very important that people with disabilities are not only seen more, I think it's very important that they're appreciated more, that they're recognized more. When I was growing up, I didn't have someone from my point of view who could understand what I went through. And there's a large percentage of people in the world with disabilities who feel like they don't matter because the world is sharing that, hey, you gotta look like this, you gotta talk like this. People with disabilities should be recognized more because our normal is normal. To anyone who is facing hardship, to anyone who feels abandoned, to anyone who feels alone, I would say you're not alone. I'm here to tell you, if you're all you got right now, you can get up, you can live, you can have a life that you love, that you enjoy, that you are proud of. Please, get up and push.